you know, I, I feel a bit like Nostradamus today, or maybe Nostradamus. Remember, remember that song and album? Nasty Nasta Esco to Escobar. Now he is Nostradamus. Like, I didn't hate it. I thought it was a decent album. I like that song. I still listen to it. I might listen to it while I edit this video, but I feel a little bit like Nostradamus today because yesterday I told you there was a problem with Assassin's Creed Shadows. Pulling out of Tokyo Game Show a mere few days before the event, there's a problem with the game. There's a reason why you're not showing up to Tokyo Game Show with this game. And now Ubisoft who has had arguably their worst year ever with games like Skull and Bones and Star Wars Outlaws, has now announced that Assassin's Creed Shadows has been delayed. All upcoming preview events for this game have been canceled. I do want to talk a little bit about the preview events as well, because there was something I wanted to mention in yesterday's video that I didn't, that I think is very pertinent to this story. But let's take a look at the information from Ubisoft, the tweet that they just put out a few minutes ago, Assassin's Creed Shadows will now release on Valentine's Day 2025. And we have our nice little text box here. Let's go ahead and read it. <laughs> Dear players, Assassin's Creed Shadows is a dream project for us. Finally bringing the series to feudal Japan with many features developed with our community in mind, such as parkour or the renewed stealth. You know, um, brought by new technology, all set in a beautiful and immersive world. So you got to glaze yourself up a little bit. You know, you got to give yourself some credit here. This is an ambitious ad addition to the franchise. Yeah, parkour and stealth. A rich experience that can be lived through the eyes of two unique protagonists. But we realized we need some more time to polish and refine the experience, pushing further some of our key features. As such, we've made the decision to postpone the release date to February 14th, 2025. The game will release on a broad range of platforms, including Steam at launch. Okay. Um, additionally, pre-orders will be refunded and all future pre-orders will be granted the first expansion for free. So they are canceling pre-orders for this. And then when you make a new pre-order, you get the first expansion for free because that was another problem with this game that seems to be completely forgotten was the path of how you purchase the game and like get the ultimate edition just like every ubisoft game where gamers are really tired of that shit they don't want these these elongated paths for a game that are already predetermined because it just gives the inclination that you're holding back content from the base game we understand that this decision will come as disappointing news especially to those who have been waiting patiently for an assassin's creed game inspired by feudal japan but we sincerely believe this is the, in the best interest of the game and ultimately your experience as a player rest assured we look forward to the moment you'll embark on a memorable adventure with naoi and yasuke kind of interesting that yasuke got second billing there until then we thank you for your ongoing support Mark Alexis Cote, on behalf of all the teams working on Assassin's Creed Shadow. So you have delayed this game by a couple of months. Nothing, nothing too crazy in the grand scheme of things. But what happened here? What happened here? Because obviously something large and jarring has happened here. This isn't a situation where you're six months from the release date and you're like, uh, uh, you know what? I don't think we're going to hit that release date. I, I don't, I don't, I think there's some more mechanics that we want to put in here. You are already doing press preview events. We're going to talk about those in just a minute, but you were already doing press preview events. You, you anticipated this game being the centerpiece, the showcase item of Tokyo Game Show for you, the biggest Japanese event for video games. So, what happened in the past? Because this to me, and you could say, oh, this was a this was a, a decision that was made months ago. Bullshit. No, 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 no. This decision was made very recently to the point of where they lost money on Tokyo Game Show, to the point of where they now have officially delayed the game. Because you're not going to do press events. You're not going to show people off the game. You're not going to have this huge lead up to the game just to cap it at the knees all of a sudden. There is something fundamentally going on with this game. Whether it's you have completely misread Japanese culture, maybe all the things that you've put in the game that were 
factually incorrect. I'm not a Japanese historian. It's not a huge deal to me, but if people live in Japan and they're like, hey, this is kind of crappy, I can understand their sentiment on it. I don't care about the different characters and the alleged stuff going into there with Yasuke. As long as the character is written well and plays well, I don't care if they're uh, what their race is, gender, sexual orientation, whatever. If, if they're written well in a, in a fantasy style game, like it doesn't bother me. But obviously, it could potentially bother some other people, especially the Japanese people. You know, the people that everyone have been saying, all these journalists and shit have been saying, oh, they don't care about this. They have no problem with this. Even though Ubisoft had to literally apologize to the Japanese audience for Assassin's Creed Shadows and say hey we're going to do better. But no, it's just a it's just a couple angry people on the internet who are upset by that. And I don't even consider myself to be one of those angry people. I just bring shine a light onto it because it's not everything is black and white in this sort of situation. There's something fundamentally wrong with Assassin's Creed Shadows. You don't do a delay this close to the release unless there is something going on here, especially pulling out of events. Now, I wanna talk about these events, these, these press events here, because there's something very strange going on with them, and I'm not gonna name names, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna do that, but I will give you a general feeling I have about these Assassin's Creed Shadows events, because they happened like what, a week ago? And all these preview videos from different content creators went up. Now, did some of these content creators genuinely enjoy their experience with the game? Sure. I'm sure they did, you know. But the problem I had with these events is every single one of them I watched almost felt like they were reading off of a script. And it was just like something where you just put it in your own words. And none of these videos, none of these preview events had any sort of thing saying this is paid promotion. Now, paid promotion is a very interesting thing because it's like, well, if you get invited to the event, should that be considered paid promotion if they fly you out to it? You know, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. To me, paid promotion is when a company pays you to talk about a game and they're like, you could say these things, you can't say these things. Now, obviously, that sort of blends into preview events as well because preview events don't want you to... Um, you know, spoil anything story-wise or anything like that. But I feel like when it comes to potential complaints and criticisms about the game and maybe, oh, this doesn't work too well or something like that, that's fair game, especially if it's not a paid thing. And if it is a paid thing, why was this not disclosed? But here's my thing about this. Everyone seemed to love this game at the preview event. Oh, it looked great. It played great. This is awesome. But some of the people that were invited to this event completely blew my mind. I know someone personally who went to an Assassin's Creed Shadows preview event that made a video on this. And it had been a while since they've made a video. Not a few days, not a few weeks, not a few months, literally years since they have made a video. Over five years since they have made a video. And their massive return to YouTube was an Assassin's Creed Shadow preview. First and foremost, how did you even find this person? They're obviously not active on any sort of social media platform. How did you discover this individual that I thought they just deleted their YouTube account? But no, you invited them to a preview event. And every single one of these people that went to the preview event glazed the game. If that's the case, it's one of two things. Either you told them to glaze the game and they didn't disclose that this was a paid opportunity or these people are morons. Like, I, I just have to be honest with you because if there's something fundamentally wrong with the game to the point of where you pull out of Tokyo Game Show and you delay the game, how can all of the previews for this thing be positive? Shouldn't there have been some feedback like, hey, this kind of sucks. This doesn't work. And maybe that was done in private, but if nothing is showcased off in public, it's essentially a paid promotion. I have done paid sponsored videos for games. I will continue to do paid sponsored videos for games, but I also let you know that this is a paid sponsored video. I just kind of share what the game is about and I let you sort of develop your thoughts and feelings based on my words and based on my gameplay. Is the game for you? Isn't the game for you? 
that's for you to decide, not necessarily me. And if I have some major complaints about it, I'll say them in a in an interesting way, but I will get them in there. But if you're not disclosing that this was a paid for event, when it definitely seems like it was, and you're dusting off people who haven't made content in years to come to this event and glaze the game, and all of these people glazed the game and said it was good and said it was awesome, said it was beautiful, this, that, and the other. But it's not because you're delaying. Look, look, look at this, people. You are delaying the game. This is insane. This is insane. And, and uh, people get mad at you if you just ask about this. I'm just simply proposing a theory about this. And I think it's weird that all the preview events glazed this game. Everyone seemed to love this game that played it at the preview event but it wasn't said that it was a sponsored thing and now there's a fundamental problem with the game to where it's delayed so so where's the where's the disconnect here and don't give me that stupid ass shigeru miyamoto a delayed game is bad or good and a, a bad game rush he didn't even say that i don't even know where that came from he didn't say the damn thing and it's false because there have been plenty of games that have been delayed that have come out and been crap Duke Nukem Forever. That was a delayed game. Was that a good game? No. It was kind of fun. I didn't hate it, but it wasn't good. It was it was fun in like a B movie sort of way. So Ubisoft, they, they, this is terrible for them. This is terrible. You had a terrible 2024. Your stock is going to continue to go down. People are going to jump off the ship with you because you clearly have a disconnect with games. And it's so freaking funny because things like this just show you one thing. We, we, are, we are in a video game crash. You had Sony come out there yesterday, and people got mad at me about that video. I don't give a damn. Two first-party games, two new first-party games, one of them being a remaster, one of them being Ghost of Yatai, Yote. I, I don't know how to say it. I'm, I'm a freaking idiot. Um, so really, you had one brand-new game, but you had four controllers to show off. But no, we're not, in a, we're not in a crash. We're not in a drought. Game development is going well. Man, I wish I had your guys' optimism. <laughs> I wish I had some of your guys' optimism. Let me know in the comment section down below, though. What do you think about this? Is this disaster for Assassin's Creed Shadows? Are you surprised by this? Because you probably shouldn't be. I mean, I'm just going to call, you know, call a spade a spade here. You probably shouldn't be surprised by this. And what do you think this bodes for the future of this game? Do you think it's dead on arrival? Because... I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, things look spooky out there. And as always, thank you guys for checking out this video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Hit the bell as well. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.